Hi there! So this is part two of some of my favorite MAC products. I have a lot, so here we go. Um, some other favorites I really like. I like their um, concealers. I have a hard time finding a concealer that's not going to get crinkly in my wrinkles and not going to look thick. I haven't quite figured that out too much. Uh, but I've used these in the past. This one, I like these um, MAC, let's see what they're called. Um, Select Moisture Wear. These are more liquidy with a little doe foot applicator. And I get a little lighter color than what I'd usually get. This is NC20 so that it gives a little highlight effect. I don't use these very often, but um, I have. And this is a newer one for me, the mineralized version. Mineralized concealer. This one is an NW20. NC is a yellower turn tone, NW is a pinker tone. So again, I would use that. Here's a little trick they taught me. Which again, I don't use this very often because it's expensive and so I keep it for special occasions. But apparently you can use this every day. It's Max Fast Response Eye Cream. And um, it's a squeezy tube and it's uh, kind of a transparent liquid. And if you put it on like a moisturizer kind of under the eye and then put the concealer on top of it, um, this like un, un well it puffs up and it fills in underneath as you wear it um, and the beautiful way of doing all that is with this beautiful little brush this is amazing the Mac 130 and if you put it on and then sweep any concealer even with this, it becomes airbrush, and you can't even see it. I love this thing. So, and then uh, they also have a pot concealer that's thicker, and I really have liked that in the past. I don't use that right now, but I really like them. They last forever, I mean, on your face. Um, that's all the primer stuff I think I've tried and then of course the paint pots this is my current one of my primers I use uh, a lot I used to use painterly which is a pinker tone but then and it lasted all day my eyeshadows lasted all day nothing budged them they were great but then they just stopped working on me I, either my eyelids changed or the formulation changed but I think my eyelids changed and they just stopped working um, so, but the soft ochre paint pot works better now for me than the painterly. It's a lighter, yellower, whiter color, but uh, I still like it because it covers up. Uh, it makes things all one color. It's not see-through like some, like I'd rather have some color so that it, everything is one tone. And they're real thick, they're easy to apply, creamy, and uh, I used that today underneath. Um, and then there's there are all sorts of different paint pots. Here's one that I don't know if they sell anymore, but I love this Delt. Let's see what's got. I think it's Delt paint pot. Delf, D-E-L-F. It's a beautiful blue, gorgeous paint pot. Uh, I don't think they sell it anymore. And mine is old now, unfortunately. I mean, this is like five years, six years old, so. That's pretty old. It lasted a long time though, but they're great as base underneath. They're great as just an eyeshadow and, and as an eyeliner. Delf is a beautiful eyeliner. Um, and then they, they come out with limited edition paint pots. And I have a whole collection of them, but I don't wear them. But sparkly frosty ones I like the sparkly frosty ones I have a whole bunch of them in different colors there's purple there's gold there's pinker here's a beautiful one apparently I use that a lot because it's got a huge dent in it what color is that oh this is Rubenesque 
This is a beautiful gold uh, bronzy color that was beautiful under neutrals or browns. Uh, and it was it, might, it was permanent. This is a beautiful one if you like neutral colors. That's a permanent one. Um, they have some matte ones they just came out with that I have that I haven't tried much but are gorgeous. Let's see this one. I should use them more. Vintage Selection. That's a pretty one. They just add a, a little layer of um, glittery deliciousness under, underneath that comes through when you put yours on top. So that's paint pots. I really like them. Um, people compare them to Maybelline tattoos. I don't like Maybelline tattoos. I bought a few. Um, but I don't think they compare at all. I don't think the consistency is the same at all. And um, when I tried the Maybelline tattoo, I couldn't spread it on my eye. These spread very easily. I couldn't spread them. I think they creased. They didn't last. I didn't like the Maybelline tattoos. And I don't think they're comparable in the way that MAC paint pots work very, very well. Um, what else? Eye pencils. I like MAC eye pencils. I have a whole bunch in a whole bunch of colors. They come out with beautiful colors. These are just a few. I have gorgeous. I like um, fascinating for um, inside the bottom um, rim. I like that. Um, but they work well in the waterline. They work. I use them a lot underneath more than on top because I use liquid on top because it's easier to spread. But I like them a lot. The feline, the famous eye coal, I don't like. It's it spreads all over. It doesn't set for me. Uh, I like the other ones. I like the rolly uppy kind PowerPoints. Uh, those are really nice and they last on my eyes all day. And chromographic. Um, this is a beautiful color. And then there's eye holes and cajoles, and I don't know what the difference is, but this is one I had got recently Black Ice Eyeliner, Pro Longwear Eyeliner. I think I just used that today under my eye. I used to use Boot Black, it's a little dippy one, a liquid dippy one, but it wasn't waterproof. They also I have a whole bunch of MAC eyeliners. Lip pencils, I, I do have, I do like. I think you can get good lip pencils cheap. But I, I don't use them, i tell you the truth. I bought them for uh, competitions and stuff, but they're really beautiful. I love them. I don't wear them, and they're gorgeous colors. Um... another beautiful eye pencil I get no kick eye coal like fascinating is for I use this one for in the inner corner it's really sparkly and lovely I like their eyebrow pencils I have a few of them there's the kind you screw up that I had but I hate that package design like I think the package design is horrible it breaks on me all the time the packaging breaks I, I hate that, but the pencils I like a lot. I needed something waterproof that stayed, and these are some of my newer ones. Um, Velux Brow Liner. Um, and I like them a lot, and they have a little spoolie on the other side. The only problem with the MAC I, um, liner pencils is they don't have a smudger like other brands do, which is kind of cheap, I think. They should have a smudger. I really like Max Prep and Prime. Um, highlighter. Radiant Rose. I love this thing. It's got a little brush. You squeeze it up. It's kind of messy. It's a fluid. But it works beautifully. You apply it under here. And then blend it in with the finger or brush. And it is gorgeous I've had this for years it's a little old now but I kept it because I didn't want to use it all but now it's a little old but it's beautiful 
Um, I like their mascaras. This one I used today. I hadn't used it before. This is a Falsies Lashes Waterproof. I haven't used them before. Again, I think some of my other mascaras have been causing problems for my eyes, so we'll see how this does for me today. I like their mascaras. I tried to find cheaper ones. I like Drugstore, the Colossal, Maybelline Colossal, but um, I like Max just fine. Brushes. I have a lot of MAC brushes and I, I love them. I do. I really like them. I haven't tried the super, super expensive ones that people talk about, but I really like them. They're handmade. They're kind of spendy, but they do last a long time. I don't have problems with shedding on most of them, maybe a couple of them, but I have some ones that I really love and use every day. My blush one, contour ones, my eye ones. I love their eye brushes. And I have some videos on those. Um, so I really like the brushes. I love the brush cleaner. Use it every day. I've used the um, makeup eye makeup remover. This one's for oil, an oil-based one for waterproof. I don't like it as much because when it gets in your eye, you can't see. Like, everything's fuzzy. So, I like the, the pink version. But, again, I try to go for a cheaper version of eye makeup remover. But you can bring the containers back for Back to Mac. Um, there's a couple more. I'll start another video. Bye.